everybody <laughs> I hope all of you are okay and thriving and happy and blessed so welcome to my youtube channel and I hope you'll stay and interact on the comments and if you do have like um, an opinion about whatever we're talking about today you're free to do that on the comment section so today we're talking about fasting like I said before this channel is literally just going to be helping people walk in the light and um, I want to talk about something really crucial prayer and fasting there is prayer and then there is prayer and fasting or rather just fasting and it cannot be fasting by itself because if you're fasting and you're not praying you're on a foot strike so I'm gonna start with this um, this story in the Bible there is this epileptic boy and there's this mother and you know mothers you know like she's like I want my son to be healed and stuff and he has been suffering from um, epileptic seizures for like a while and then she hears Jesus is coming through so she takes the boy and um, tells Jesus I come like, um, you know like I need you to heal my son and she's like I told your disciples to do it and they couldn't mind you Jesus had already given them the authority to go around and heal the sea cast out demons and then they just couldn't they couldn't <laughs> so she's she, and I let what's what's the name what's the name what's the name that I'm looking for Kwashtaki I told the disciples to do it and they couldn't do it so um, Jesus does his thing the boy is healed and then the disciples are like you know why did we try doing the same thing and we couldn't and he gives them like this small talk but he ends it by saying this kind does not come out but by prayer and fasting um i think give me one sec i'm gonna um so i can be oh <laughs> yeah it's matthew 17 Oh yeah. So Matthew seventeen, chapter seventeen, and verse twenty. Um, the whole story is way before that, but I'm just gonna go to what Jesus says. So Jesus said to them, "Because of your unbelief, for surely I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and they will move, and nothing will be impossible for you." However, however, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Now there is faith, you know, the faith of a mustard seed and stuff like that. You know, like how the mustard seed is tiny but grows to be like a really big tree. And believing, all that stuff is crucial too. But he ends it by saying, however, this kind does not come out by prayer, uh, uh, except by prayer and fasting. So it is a crucial detail and it's something people don't do often because I mean, who doesn't like eating? Who doesn't like food? Who? I do. I know I do. <laughs> but it is said that until you can stop feeding your flesh and start feeding your spirit man, that's when your spirit man starts to grow. You need your body to be strong. You need your body to be nourished. You need your body to be... You know to be able to do all the activities and get the energy to do all of that so you have to eat and you have to eat well that's the same thing with your spirit man he needs to be fed too now when was the last time you fasted so you can literally just guess how kind of malnourished your spirit man must be <laughs> so the flesh feeds on food and the spirit man feeds on your spirit feeds on um, you know spiritual food obviously but it has you have to like literally for you if you're serious about your spiritual work you have to get to a point where you say I need to stop feeding my flesh this much you also get to a point where um, you're fighting these fleshly desires you're fighting um, all sins are literally just connected to the flesh whether it's lying it's the time and you know all those sins and you're fighting all these sins because they're all kind of connected to the flesh but the flesh always beats you to it every single time it beats you to it every single time it's like it's stronger than you you're like i'm weak 
and even yes the bible does say like um the f the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak when it comes to making prayer you don't feel like doing it the flesh will always fight something that is spiritual every single time when you go into prayer mode you'll find your mind going to these places and you weren't even thinking of such things when you weren't praying it's always going to fight anything spiritual it is not familiar with anything spiritual and when we die you will leave the flesh and your spirit goes your flesh does not go there because it is not of that place it is not familiar with anything spiritual it will always fight anything that is it is not familiar with so especially the spiritual matters so when you find that you're fighting your flesh so much every single time and you keep giving into your fleshly desires every single time it just means your flesh has gotten way too stronger than your spirit man and you need to get your spirit man in check. You need to start feeding him spiritual food. Now there is the word, there is prayer, there is worship, all that stuff. That's what your fear, oh, your spirit feeds on. Sorry, excuse me. That's what your spirit feeds on, right? But you also need to incorporate fasting. When you're fasting, you kind of um elevate your spirit man. It kind of gets stronger than your flesh, cause. You know what happens when you're fasting? Um, you're f you're used to giving into your flesh a lot, right? When he asks for food, you give it. You know when you're hungry, you get so hungry that you're like, nah, I have to eat, there's no way. When it feels like peeing, you'll go pee. When it feels like doing this, it, it asks so much from you. And you'll always give it because it is your body, it's the flesh. And it can, it can, it, it can be stronger than your will sometimes. So, basically now when you start fasting, it's like you're saying no to your flesh. Because you're fasting, you know you're denying it food. And you know it's like an endless cycle to feed every single time. And when it asks for food, you're like, no. Let's say you're doing um, a 6 to 6 fast. In between there are people, there are some people obsessed with like, you know, having breakfast. Oh, I must eat lunch or else I'll feel weak. At that point, you're teaching your flesh to listen to your nose. You tell, you tell your flesh, no, we're not going to eat this time, we are fasting. The next time, no, the next time, no, until your flesh gets used to it. Now, you're getting, your will is getting much, much stronger than your flesh and your spirit man is getting stronger than your flesh as long as you're praying and as long as you're praying and reading the word and worshipping while you're fasting. Because like I said, if you're not doing any of that, you're just on a foot strike. So that's what happens. It's like you're training your flesh you're putting your flesh under your authority you're killing it all these fleshly desires you're killing them you're that's what, you literally get you get the gist right you get it so basically what you should do while you're fasting there is prayer obviously that's a given and then there is reading the word and meditating on it don't just read it like you're reading a novel I'm guilty of that sometimes when I'm exhausted, but I don't want to like say I didn't read the Bible today because I was exhausted, so I just read it. Like I don't want just to say I read it, though that's very ineffective and it's terrible. I'm trying to get out of that. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of that. And then there's worship. So if you don't do these three things while you're fasting, your fasting wasn't that effective and at first people don't know you just pray and that's it and it's okay he's a faithful god and compassionate and you know he understands all that stuff but as you grow you need to grow while you're doing these things while you're incorporating something new you need to set aside time for prayer and then you read the word and then you worship a little bit i mean it's kind of like a given you'll feel like reading the bible at some point when you're done praying because even when you're praying it's not like you're supposed to pray without um without a foundation of the word you have to incorporate the word in your prayer that's the only thing that god listens to the bible says the only thing that can test his serenity is his word if he said it in the word promise it in the word and you take it to him he will most definitely do it as long as it's in the word yeah like you said you do it so where is it and you almost definitely do it 
it literally the only thing that can test his sovereignty is his word so you take the word with you while you're going in prayer where you're praying for healing you take verses from the bible that talk about healing and pray for healing quote the verses give his word back to him you say this and that so basically even when you're going in prayer you have to incorporate the word so the word prayer check and then a little bit of worship and all of that stuff they have to be done in the spirit you have to incorporate you have to include the holy spirit in your prayer in your word in your worship in your word study and in your worship so those are the three main things you have to do while you're fasting now the types of fasting um i'm gonna say this there are different types of fasting there is for example most of the times when i when i decide to fast i usually do six to six six a.m to six p.m that's i think that's the easiest one for most people okay i'm not i'm not gonna say it's the easiest one for most people because if you've never fasted you can at least start by just fasting breakfast that is if you eat breakfast because if you don't and you're fasting breakfast what are you doing that's not a sacrifice it has to be some type of a sacrifice it has to be something you're used to if you love lunch so much fast lunch it has to feel like a sacrifice okay so just lunch or next time just supper and then as you grow you'll find your body's even getting used to it so you include lunch and breakfast that's what i usually include because it's 6 to 6 6 a.m to 6 p.m after 6 p.m you know they supper so i eat my supper i just fast breakfast and lunch and i know most people who are hustling so much even forget to eat lunch so it's not that hard but when you start fasting it might be hard i don't know by some kind of a spiritual warfare just happens you're used to not eating lunch but when you decide now i'm gonna fast and not eat lunch i don't know it just gets tricky <laughs> for some reason but um aside from that okay yeah, six to six six a.m to six p.m now you can decide to do that for one day if you're studying your fast if you're not used to fasting or you can say three days or five days or a week this whole week i'm not having breakfast and lunch i'll only be eating supper this whole week you get and then there is the there are people who can go um the what do i call it i don't know the name but it's why you don't eat solid food at all you just drink liquids that's another type of fast you just drink liquids for let's say maybe uh, the whole day you say no breakfast no lunch no supper but you can take coffee you can take chocolate like the chocolate drink or an energy drink if you're going to be outside doing your work and you need the energy but you have to fast you can take an energy drink that can go for let's say three days because i know there are people even without saying that you know there are scientists okay let me just not say scientists there are people who do this thing that's called intermittent fasting that's where you just have a window open for eating only but if it's not in that window you're not eating and it's not like they're doing prayer and fasting and sometimes sometimes the others who go for three days it's called a water fast that's not a spiritual thing that's just a science thing where you get to cleanse your body of all the toxins and what it's recommended by doctors though that i'm not insane for three days or like five days just drink water clearing out your the toxins and the whatever whatever is in your body and when people want to do that or lose a little bit of weight they do that and clear out everything so it's recommended at most okay you can choose your duration but it's recommended you at least get to three days now that's not even spiritual and people can do that so imagine you're doing that and you're also praying if you want to like fix your body it's okay you at least that's a win-win you'll get to fix your body and two you also get to get your spirit spirit man to be strong so you you go with both you win two prizes you get so um so i was also saying you can also do the water fast but now like a spiritual thing you just drink water but in this one you can also include other drinks you can also include other drinks and um it can go from let's say a day if you're not used to it because it can be a little bit tricky because if you're used to eating and then one day you just don't eat the whole day it's just drinks it can be a little bit tricky but with other drinks i found that it can also be be a bit easier if you're maybe taking coffee or like other drinks i say so um one day three days five days seven days 
as far as I can go, as far as you can go. Don't push yourself too hard. Don't push yourself too hard. Listen to your body to listen to your body. I mean, if you're not used to it, take it slow. Just let it be a gradual thing. Let it be a gradual thing. And then you can do the um the Daniel fast. The Daniel fast is where you only get to eat vegetables for 10 to 21 days. You know, the one Daniel did in the Bible, oh, the Bible is here, in the Bible for 21 days, just vegetables, no meat, nothing sugary, no caffeine, just vegetables. So he only ate vegetables for the energy. And mind you, he was in the king's palace at the time where all types of foods are being served. You know, it was like a buffet set in front of him. But he was fasting. You know, meat and all. You know what? I love meat personally. So I'd like even go for a week without incorporating meat in my meals. It's kind of hard. But when you're doing Daniel fast, that's where you get to only eat vegetables. Like cabbage greens spinach um other vegetables you know but i don't know like if you're doing the daniel fast you obviously google types of vegetables that you can eat that's for people who have to fast and they still have to go outside there and do some type of work that requires the energy you get exactly it is yeah exactly you know when you're young right now it is better to fast when you're young right now praying and fasting when you're young right now even the bible does say that when you're young when you're youth you have the energy and the time when you get older there's no energy there's no time and it gets a bit tricky so right now you're encouraged do all these things that you can right now send prayers to your future pray for your marriage for your children and all that stuff you can send prayers to the future by the way so at this time when you're youth when you can do this just do it just do it i have the energy i have the time right now so i do this like it just involuntarily i just put myself in this because i know the kind of effect it's going to have in my um in my future i keep sending prayers in the future and right now i know i have the time and the energy soon i will not <clears throat> so um if you're overwhelmed with work and you kind of need the energy you can also do the daniel fast that goes for 21 days but you can also start with 10 days not less than 10 days 10 to 21 days the daniel fast um also fasting does not have to involve food okay so first of all you can also fast entertainment let's say social media for like a week if you know you being online kind of makes you not study or oh, it's study <laughs> makes you not like um yeah let's go with study like what study that is you know um the time that you're supposed to be reading the bible praying or worshiping or spending your time with god you're on social media and it's a bit addicting so social media is literally another perfect type of fasting social media fasting so you fast social media for like a week or you fast movies for like a month because these movies come with a lot of energy in them too and you know some scenes so you can decide to fast entertainment for like a week to a month at that time when you're supposed to be on social media on instagram on tiktok mostly especially me if i was to fast the time that i usually do tiktok and i use that time to just spend time with god yo that's a lot of hours and god is not even asking for that many hours though just a little bit of your time each day just a little bit of your time each day he's you say you have a relationship with him but you don't spend time with him I mean that it doesn't even make sense it doesn't make sense for you to be in a relationship with another person and you don't spend time with them it doesn't that relationship is not going to last it has to be you have to spend time with them and you have to communicate communication and time so if you're saying you want a relationship with god you have to make that sacrifice you know time sacrifice your time and spend time with him so yeah social media too or um also doesn't have to be just entertainment if there's one thing that you feel that has taken over your life so much that you don't get to give your attention to other things especially um god you can also fast that particular thing let's say you go out and you do this thing maybe like hobbies there's a hobby that just takes so much of your time you just like doing it so much you can also fast that for whatever duration you want so it just has to be something that has taken over your life so much and it will feel like a sacrifice when you stop doing it for like a while just to like give that time to God. 
and after what you're getting after that first what you're getting out of that first you'll find that these things no longer have control over you it's a journey though it won't just happen immediately but you would most definitely see results there are things like Jesus has said here, there are things that will never move in your life until you start doing prayer and fasting. You pray, you worship, you love him, you go to church, you read the Bible, good. But there are things that will never move. There are spiritual things that need the kind of energy that comes with fasting. There are spiritual things that you cannot fight in the spiritual realm without, without doing prayer and fasting. They just are. And they will remain stubborn until you do that. That's for sure. So whether you like fasting or not, you just 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 know that. There are things that will never move in your life until you do pray and fasting. Just know that. So push yourself to it. Push yourself to it. I hope this helps. And if you have any fasting questions, forward them to me. Um, or just ask in the comment section. So thank you so much. And I love you all. Bye-bye.